today we are going to see the main differences between freeism and seism so first of all these two are internationally recognized certifications for a scrum master at beginner level PSM stands for Professional Scrum Master and CSM stands for Certified Scrum Master. So these two are the most widely um, used certification I can tell. And uh, also most organizations prefer PSM Certified Candidate or CSM Certified Candidate for a Scrum Master position. So for an entry level, this can be good. And even in market, there are many more certifications available. So considering the top two certifications, I'm just giving the basic differences between both here that can help others to understand and select their preferences. Okay, first, PSM. So uh, one more disclaimer is, see this PSM has many stages. PSM 1, PSM 2, PSM 3. Whereas the CSM has only one exam, PSM will be on different levels. So that is one of the uh, primary difference, but I haven't mentioned here that difference, just I want to uh, let you know in prior. But if you're asking whether PSM 1, 2 and 3 are required, I personally feel PSM 1 is good for you. And after PSM 1, you can even plan for other certification, which can um, help you prepare in a very different way. Okay. Coming to the first point, this PSM certificate is issued by scrum.org, which you people may be aware. And CSM is from scrumalliance.org. Okay. The certificate issuer is different. <coughs> Cost-wise. The CSM cost approximately $450 and PSM is $150 approximately. But this $450 also, which includes training cost and everything, I, I believe you will be able to uh, get even more lesser also when you are going with any coupon code or anything. So cost-wise, CSM is costlier than PSM. <clears throat> Next, PSM validity is lifetime. So this is one of the major benefits of PSM, it's validity, okay? And no renewal is needed. Whereas CSM has a renewal process and they cost around $100 for every two years. So consider today you are um, writing the cert uh, certification and you're clearing the certification exam. Then after two years, you need to start with the first renewal, which will cost you $100. PSM, there is no renewal rate. Coming to the difficulty part, PSM is more difficult to clear compared to CSM. I will, in the next point, I will let you know why I'm telling in that way. Uh, but most of the syllabus will be common for both PSM and CSM. Only a slight variation will be there. See, in PSM, the passing grade is 85%, whereas in CSM, it is 74%. And when you are coming to the question pattern, it is 80 MCQ or multiple select questions or true or false questions. True or false questions. In 60 minutes, you need to answer 80 questions, out of which for 85%, you need to get 68 questions correct. That means you have an option only to um, have 12 questions incorrect here, which is a little bit difficult. Most challenging part of PSM is that particular time constraint and this passing percentage. Whereas in CSM, the passing rate is only 74% and 50 MCQ, 50 MCQ will be there. In 60 minutes, you need to answer. And 74% means you will be very uh, well knowing that you have an option that 37 questions should be correct and 13 questions can be wrong. So passing grade wise, CSM is much easier, I would be saying. PSM does not require a training course, whereas CSM requires a mandatory two-day training course 
for you before right, taking the exam, you need to have the mandatory two days training course completed. Then only you can appear for CSM. So these are the basic differences between PSM and CSM, but there may be more differences also. I'm not going very in-depth into the um, syllables or anything. Just I want to give a basic idea because some many people will be confused and many people even ask me the same question. What is the differences? Okay, now coming to the final part, which we can prefer. See, it's up to you people. I would personally recommend you to go through the syllables and understand and based upon your confidence level, you can take the any exam because most of the job description in top companies will be having either PSM or CSM certified. So very less companies have uh, normal programs like only CSM candidate or anything because they will they are able to understand that okay PSM or CSM it's good. And personally, I feel com uh, coming up to the cost, cost wise, PSM is better. And coming to the difficulty part, uh, PSM is more tough and CSM is easy to clear. So it's up to you people. But personally, I feel uh, PSM may be a good choice. If you have good practice and if you are very clear with the concept, you can go with PSM because that does not require any training and also the cost is less. And um, coming to the renewal, more renewal is required. But then I feel PSM. It's up to you people to take a decision. All the best folks.